Do you still wear a mask? Why or why not? Depends on the situation. Friend's house, no. Robbing a bank, yes. I live in London, I wear one in the tube. Cause the tube is fucking gross. Yeah but because I've been on chemo not cancer, my meds are just low dose chemo for the last 15 years. I wore masks before it was cool. Fucking copycats. I wear one if I feel sick, or if I'm asked to. I will if I'm in a hospital clinical setting. Other than that, not usually. I'm Korean, I wore it before COVID when I got sick, will probably wear it in crowded areas for the foreseeable future. Occasionally. I find that people are less likely to sit next to me on the bus when I do. Ironic really. Yes, they are still looking for me. It's funny to me how all of the most upvoted comments are like yeah, absolutely I do and then I look outside or in crowds I see on TV and maybe two of people are actually wearing masks. Yeah, in Walmart I notice lots of people coughing all over the place. The amount of time I used to spend being sick vs now when I wear a mask in crowded public places is a large difference. So it's habit I don't plan on ever dropping. I wear one when I don't feel well. I wear one to the hospital or any other very crowded place. Yeah, for my mom. She has underlying conditions. Because I'm ugly. I've been wearing them at work because I've been enjoying not catching a cold flu as often as I used to before COVID. I wear a mask because I do not have a choice. I have had parts of my right lungs removed. I have the most severe asthma only controlled by regular injections. I have IC4 immune diseases. The hospital following my care was pretty clear about my risks of death catching COVID and I had to redo two vaccines usually given to children for common lung diseases protection. I wear a mask because those that know they are sick with COVID don't give a shit about people like me. I do because I haven't caught so much as a cold since this all started, my allergies have never been better, and nobody randomly tells me to smile when I am out in public. Yes. No one cared who I was until I put on the mask. Yes. Wife is pregnant. Hospital has COVID guidelines okay in who can be in the delivery room. If I catch COVID, I don't get to be there. Wearing a mask is a tiny tiny requirement to help ensure I will be there. I have on on my desk at work I'll wear if a customer comes in with one. I have a few in my car for if they are required somewhere doctor's office. If I get sick, I'll wear one. It's no longer a big part of my everyday, though. Transplant patient with suppressed immune system and suffer bad asthma. I have to protect myself. Absolutely every time I'm on public transit or airplane. COVID taught me that mostly every cold or sniffle I got when traveling could be heavily mitigated against with wearing a mask for a little bit. This thread is gonna be way overrepresented by people who still wear masks. More power to them but 99.9% .9 of people you see in public don't wear one anymore. Yes, immunocompromised due to kicking cancers as via organ transplant a few months ago. I'll be 30 soon. I'm a nurse and some of y'all are nasty. I do because I haven't gotten sick for about two years now, despite others who stay with me getting sick. I don't wear a mask at home or outside in the open air. If I go into a store or other enclosed area with people, the mask goes on. Why? Because people are still dying of an airborne, communicable pandemic virus. I wear it when my face looks like ass and I'm too lazy to do makeup. Sometimes there are days where you wanna hide just everything. Nope. Because I don't want to. No unless I'm at the doctor's. Depends on the situation. For the most part, I don't wear one anymore, but I'm wearing one today because I'm at a large work event and will be seeing my grandmother this weekend so I'm just trying my best not to pass anything on to her, whether it be a cold or covid. Yep, it's great, haven't brushed my teeth all year. 
Yes, because I have broken teeth from being ran over and I'm embarrassed. Yes, I do. I work at a hospital and still have to wear it all day, every day at work, so I'm pretty used to it. It also clearly helps with preventing colds, so that's nice. Yes. I'm old, I live alone, and I have a lot of comorbidities. Even though I'm vaxxed and boosted, getting COVID could greatly complicate what's left of my life. As someone with allergies and eczema, the mask had been a great blessing. It greatly reduced my triggers from pollution and such. And as an introvert it feels rather comfy. It helps maintaining my health. Only on the subway. Thousands of people in a confined space. Reasonable precaution I think. Yeah. I never saw what the big deal was. Also I work in food service with the general public. Oh boy, this'll bring out the crazies. Yes, when sanding or painting. Yes, because as a former COVID ICU nurse I haven't begun to cope with the trauma of the last few years and it makes me feel less anxious when I'm out in public. Other people in my office are right now coughing so hard they sound like dogs barking at each other, while I'm over here in my N95 mask breathing like a champ. I'm wearing it until I can trust other people not to walk around spewing and snorting out viruses while they are obviously sick, so yeah, I'm going to keep wearing it for the foreseeable future so I don't infect my 80-year-old mom. I do on public transportation because I don't want anyone to get anyone with a compromised immune system sick. 100 of the time in public indoor places. Long COVID as a neurological disease is terrifying, so are the hugely increased risks of heart attack or stroke for otherwise young and healthy people that apparently persist for at least a year post-infection, even for mild cases. Add that to the evidence that reinfection increases the risks of these problems rather than decreases them, and there is just no way. COVID isn't going anywhere, and neither is my mask. I need to live till I'm old for my child's SAE. Yeah. American in Japan and everyone is still wearing them here. Yes and no. Walking outside, no. Going to a mall or to do groceries, going into smaller stores ECT then yes. Yes, N95 head straps. I don't want COVID. I don't want long COVID. I don't want brain damage. I don't want to accidentally give someone else any of these either. It's so easy to just wear a mask. I'm autistic too, so it's not like it's a comfortable choice for me, but it is the right one, inarguably. Yes. I have immunocompromised family members, don't want to get COVID again, love being left alone and it keeps my face warm in winter. I'll always wear one in a grocery store, pharmacy, hospital, public transportation, airports, etc. I still do but all my co-workers come to work sick, no masks, cough all over not covering mouth and they think it's all fun and games to share their illness with everyone in shop. The management encourages them to come to work sick. Wearing a mask indoors. I've read too many times that repeated infection seems to have really detrimental long-term effects. IDK how we can just ignore that. I still wear them on the subway and indoor public spaces in hopes of making life a little easier on immunocompromised individuals. Not really, but I don't mind wearing it. Yes. I'm immunocompromised. Sometimes I wear a hockey mask but only when I go camping. Yep. Most people here in New York don't, but I wear mine in public because my wife is immunocompromised and I want to play it safe. Yes, because humans are gross. Only when I'm sick and cannot avoid going out. Yes, because I got used to it and now I feel I'm always being watched when I remove it from public places. I still wear them on public transit and around a specific co-worker who prefers it due to a health condition. Healthcare settings and the vet by me still require them so I wear them there, but I rarely wear them other places these days. No. Anxiety. And having autism making certain surfaces and sensations feel disproportionately uncomfortable, 